Good morning, YouTube. How are you this morning? I am pretty good. I'm pretty good. The humidity hasn't kicked in yet. Um, it is uh, 9.30 a.m. Central Time. And I am uh, in Fletcher, Oklahoma at the Georgia Pacific Gypsum Wallboard Plant. In other words, sheetrock. Um, when we talked yesterday, I was uh, finishing up delivering at the Wichita Falls Home Depot store. And I was heading up to the yard in Burn It to get my truck work done. Um, it's only like a 20 minute drive. And I got up there and checked in and I was able to drop my trailer and pull my tractor right in. And uh, go inside, take a shower and all this stuff while they were working on it. Came back and uh, said they couldn't fix it. Um, they uh, worked on trying to fix that wiring. And uh, apparently when I went to the TA, I guess it was a couple weeks ago, they didn't put the right one in. Um, it's, it was the wrong type of plug. So it uh, broke, you know, or whatever. And he tried to fix it, but he couldn't do it. Um, I was going to have to wait. He told me I was going to have to wait till this morning till they could go over to the Freightliner there in Wichita Falls and buy the right one. And uh, there was a couple other things I'd put on the list too, but there was nothing he could do about them. Um, he didn't have the tools to work on the radar on this truck. He kind of likes to go off on overhead signs occasionally and slam on the brakes. It's kind of frustrating. And um, and then uh, he was he didn't have uh, only the guy in the daytime could work on the computer for the alignment. So. Because I got a, this thing pulls to the right pretty good at times. And uh, I've pretty much isolated that it's not uh, not due to loading. So I said, okay. I was going to, went and parked the truck, got the truck out of the shop, went and parked, climbed in bed and watched the news. Uh, and then I was going to go to bed. About 11.30 he came out knocking on the door and said he had found an older part that might work. And if I was interested, he would try it. If not, I could wait till the morning. I said, well, whatever. And he popped the hood right there in the parking lot, worked on it. He got to be, and he changed out the plug to a different kind. And it works. It's from an older model truck, but it works right now. So, got that taken care of. As far as everything else, I didn't feel like hanging around. But because I stayed up late, because I used to go to bed by 10 o'clock, and I was up till after almost midnight with him. Working on it, I fell asleep, fell asleep and didn't set my alarm. Got up this morning at 7, took off after I pre-tripped the truck, and I got here about 8.45, I think it was. Um, no, take it back, about 8.30. Yeah, about 8.30, because it's about an hour, 15-minute drive or so. So, <clears throat> I'm in line waiting to uh, load. This place is uh, different from some of the other fiber plant, board plants of, I uh, mean, fiber sheetrock plants that I've been to with y'all. Um, we've been here before, and this is my second time here. Basically, you wait in line. You put your tarps, bungees, and the loading sheet on the back of the trailer, and then you wait. When one of the doors opens up, you swing in, and you back in one of those super tight docks. You know, the docks come right up to the edge. They load it, throw the tarps on it for you, bungee them down, and then you pull out. You go down to the securement area and finish bungeeing and, put your, and then put your straps on. I don't like it because it's one of those places where the straps are on the outside of the load. And I don't care for that too much, personally. I don't think it looks good. But there's nothing I can do about it. They won't let me secure between loading and tarping. Unless it has to be gut strapped. And uh, I've, I've, I've never seen anybody get gut straps here. so Or have to gut strap. But it's supposedly possible. So That's it for now. Once I'm done here, this load goes to RSI in Shreveport. My second favorite place. <laughs> and I think I mentioned yesterday I was worried about the money. Yeah, this one's going to suck because I get paid more. I would get paid more doing mileage than I would on the percentage. So that brought down my money for the week. I was on a roll. Everything was high. But hey, can't win them all. Part of the, part of the deal. So I'll let y'all know later. How things have gone for the day. I don't think I'll be able to make it all the way to RSI to deliver today. They do close it. They do accept loads up to 4.30 p.m. But it's a five-hour drive. It's what's almost uh, it's almost 400 miles. So don't think I'll make it today. But 
maybe I could at least make uh, Greenwood to the Flying J in part for that. So that's it for now. Till later, I'll let you know what's going on. Good evening, YouTube. How are you this evening? I am pretty good, I think. Um, it is 7 p.m. Central Time, and I am in uh, Greenwood, Louisiana at the Flying J. Um, well, last you spoke, I was uh, waiting to load there in Fletcher. I was there about two and a half hours. It was about, I, was there, I waited about an hour and a half before they started to load me. Before I got up in line and back to the door and they loaded me. Did a good job. They did a good job getting tarps on. So I was able to pull around. Bungee the tarps down and throw my straps and take off. Um, made a couple of stops along the way for my load checks. Um, ate lunch at a barbecue place uh, on the border between Texas and Oklahoma. Uh, just north of Burke Burnett. And... Um, then I stopped again in Terrell for load check and a snack. I got here about 10 minutes ago. Um, I would prefer to be able to go all the way to, uh, to RSI. They're eight miles away, but, well, maybe a little bit farther than that. Excuse me. Uh, 16 miles away. It'll take about 20, 30 minutes to get there in the morning, so. But they don't have any overnight parking, so not really much i can do about that so gonna be a quiet evening i'm gonna get a few things cleaned up here in the truck because i've kind of neglected some things I just have a relaxing evening and watch some tv and get to bed early get up at 6 30 and head on over there so that's it for today i hope you had a good one i did kind of uneventful though so until tomorrow when i unload or somewhere around that Keep the shiny side up, 73s. Be safe.